What we see from even great, great entrepreneurs and, and, and researchers, they think within their own discipline, they think within their own network or country, and we would love to have them think interdisciplinary when it comes to technology, and we will have to, would love to have them to think globally when it comes to um, uh, scaling their idea. So I think the most important for them, I mean, they are here to sort of get new ideas and, and try to explore opportunities. And uh, clearly we have seen technologies where there is an exponential rise. There are technologies that may have one or may not have. Uh, but being aware of this, you can sort of like try, when you have to think ahead, you can think more aggressive than what is just a linear projection. So they can use this to really try things that they would be uncomfortable with, that they would say, no, th this, is, this is too crazy, this is too much science fiction, that this may actually happen and may happen sooner than what they believe even in the most possible positive thinking. It has been awesome. Like we have this community, you could call it, like so many awesome people with so many awesome ideas. I think that like, that's insane. There's no doubt that, that the sort of classical approach with uh, uh, making systems for specific problems, that's going to increase and also uh, we will see much more applications of this. But at the same time, a lot of stuff is now happening in the more generic artificial intelligence branch, where you really try to make systems that can play for instance, arbitrary board games, for instance, arbitrary video games. And uh, if you want to build a, a general purpose uh, household robot, for instance, then you need some of this. And this is, I think, where something should happen and so where something is happening. We're not very good at it yet, but, but this is, uh, this is uh, great news for the future, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> I've missed this of being surrounded by uh, like-minded people that all think of, okay, how can we save the planet? How can we help everyone else? And being in such an environment is very inspirational. You will conduct a two minute ideation so, usually you will have one object per group, right? And this is our object, yep. right? So this looks like a pin, but of course it's not a pin, Vanessa. No. No? Not at all. In fact, it's a, uh, it's a new fashion accessory, which I will just wear here somehow on my ear. Yeah. Yes. So, you get that point, right? Yeah. So, so <laughs> you take your objects, you spend the next couple of minutes ideating, and just when you think it's getting a little bit difficult, keep going, right? Because your creative muscle is going to really be good at this, right? So, two minutes from now, go. It's been great. It's been really fun. I think this this is a team of really highly motivated, intelligent uh, people with a good sense of humor. So so yeah, it's been it's been an experience, and I would happily welcome uh, this kind of group again. We were at uh, DTU Skylab, and I you could literally hear minds breaking throughout the entire session. I mean, at one point there was this guy, and he just did like this, and he was like, "Oh my God!" And it was just. It was so cool. The youngest person over there, the oldest person in there, and everybody else in the right order. So go! 24! 24! 24! 24! 25! 25! 25! 26! 26! 27! 27 and a half! 28! 28! 28! 26! 51! 53! Woo! <laughs>
I, uh, I think we're going to see a, um, an arms race between a man and machine and we're going to compete with each other and the only way for us uh, humans to stay in the game is to upgrade ourselves with technology. I think that uh, by using technology we can make us humans healthier, smarter and uh, I also think we can make ourselves more ethical beings. This is why I think it's a good thing that we, uh, we support and we help develop ourselves with technology. I'd like to uh, bring the first semi or the first finalist uh, to the stage. And I know this person really wants it, so Mark, please, Anna. <laughs>